<coughs> so here we are on a much crappier microphone on the computer and uh, inside Fusion 360. Uh, this is the, we have a model printing right now, which would be this one. You might be able to hear in the background, or maybe not, since I have the noise gate on pretty well. Um, we're going to be making some changes to this, just because I want a multitude of different models to test when I head over to the supermarket. Um, but this one, for example, has beveled edges, which I thought that might just work best because coins are made like that. Um, it also, also the coins are the exact thickness, uh, not thickness, exact width, diameter of the one and two dollar coins here in Canada. Uh, I want to make a version where they are like maybe 0.5 smaller and a version where the, the coins are 0.5 bigger, just in case it needs a little bit of play or if it needs to be a lot tighter. Um, also, the coins are um, very, very slightly thicker than uh, a regular coin is, and that is only because I don't trust my printer to print something that tightly. Uh, I might play with that, but I think if you've ever seen little trolley key things, they don't really have like the narrowest of openings, so it might be able to fit into there. Um, so we're just going to get right into changing this up. All right, and there we have it. Uh, we've got two new versions of this where the coin sizes are slightly bigger and slightly smaller. That's going to be three different prints I'm going to make, and that's going to be about 90 minutes worth of printing. So I'm just going to go ahead and test these three first. Maybe I'll give them away to some random people at the store and ask their opinions on them. Uh, depends on how everybody's looking today. It is pretty dang cold, so if everybody's just get out of my way, let me get in the store, I'll leave them alone. But if they work, I'll give them away and ask people's opinions on them. Um, I just hope they don't visit the Etsy store because there's nothing on it yet. Except, uh, hey, Sarah's custom dolls are on there if you want to go check them out. But, uh, you know, it's vastly different than what this is. Now that we got these brand new models done with the adjusted sizes, um, I already have the other, the, the original one with the specific sizes sliced already. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through the printer, check all the slicer settings and see how we like them, and then we'll slice the other two. I feel like there might be a couple things I don't like. All right, on to the time lapse.
Hey, get down from there. All right, looks like this guy's done. Let's see if I can get it off the build plate. Did have to use a little bit of glue. Ooh. Let's just get the corner of the skirt up here. Not very good lighting. Ooh, Joyce. Mm, this might take a while. All right, so here it is. This thing was really hard to get off. It's pretty ugly. Uh, that's fine. This is just a prototype. There's definitely some slicer settings I'm going to change. Um, for one, I tried out these top layer things. <clears throat> it's a setting in Cura that I thought was going to improve the quality of these big numbers. But instead, it just makes them look real sloppy. It's just because the layers don't really come off as easy as I thought they would. I had to give it a little bit of a sand to try to get those down because it was kind of making the coin sides too thick. There's still some junk on them. Um, other than that, the cyan skeleton part of it is really hard to see on camera. The logo part of it is really well kept, but the bottom text, the on Etsy part, is way too small. I'm not planning on giving the, like selling these ones in particular because these are really just rough prototypes. Um, this is just to figure out which best settings and design stuff I can do whenever we make the actual one, which is not going to just be a stick with two balls at the end. It's going to be something pretty neat. Maybe it'll be in this video. Maybe, ooh, maybe not. Um, yeah, so letters definitely need to be bigger. Remove this top layer nonsense. Um, I might want to adjust the, how the skirt's working because the skirt was annoying to get off. Uh, I can't really, the top bevels, I think the top bevels are going to be, are going to be fine. At least on this middle part, because they feel great. And they're probably necessary, they're necessary on the bottom, because it made the skirt really easy to take off. Um, only thing left to do now is to print the other two of different diameters and stuff. Um, and I can fix the slicer settings on those. And then, um, head off to the supermarket to test it. Alright, here we go. Into the cold. Minus 10 right now. Ooh. Door is closed and locked. Let's go. Hopefully the lens doesn't fog up. <laughs> Shouldn't. It's drier outside than it is inside. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop recording now because my fingers hurt and I've almost slipped like four times. All right, we have made it to the real Canadian Superstore, as opposed to all those fake Canadian Superstores. Phonies. Also like six foot tall piles of snow. It's pretty good. All right, quickly, before people come over here and need to use this place. So first up, we got the, I wrote on these with black Sharpie, it's kind of dumb. Regular sized key. See if this one works. Oh, it does. Check that out. That works pretty good. Maybe we can have a tighter fit with one of the other keys. Let's try the the bigger one. Yeah, here's the bigger one. See if it has a better fit. Yep, yeah, doesn't shift around as much. It works as well. And the smaller one. Has a little more play, but it still works as well. I think that means we can probably stick with the normal size or bigger one, the 0.5 larger. I like the 0.1. Let's try it out again. On a variety of carts. Yep, unlocks it. Try it on this one. Nice, success. It's pretty good. Try on one more cart. Yep, works on that one too. So we're heading back from the supermarket. I was gonna sit down and have, um, you know, like a face cam and stuff to talk about what happened, but the park just looks too nice. So, recording out here. Um, so all the keys worked perfectly fine. Um, the bigger one kind of, not trip now, had kind of like a better lock to it. 
which so I think I'm gonna keep them scaled up like that because it kind of wiggled around less. I was able to ask a few people their opinions about it. It was very busy though, so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna, rec I didn't record any of them. I recorded one guy, he didn't really seem a big fan of being recorded, so I'm not gonna put them in. From there out, I didn't even bother asking people. Um, so uh, one guy thought it was kind of neat and he kept one. And then the other person I asked, uh, it wasn't super into it. They thought it was kind of like, they, they already had like a, they always carry change, they said, so they didn't really need it. Um, which is kind of what I expected. Um, the point of the thing, uh, like the whole idea behind it was kind of based off of my own experiences. Me and Sarah, my wife, um, we usually run out of um, change. Like we usually spend our change. So when we go to the superstore, we don't have any money to put in the trolley. But I guess, well, obviously that's not a problem for everybody or even most people. So um, what that tells me is that one, the keys are gonna have to have a lot more novelty to them. They're gonna have to have a more fun design. That way it feels at least like, well, like it's cool enough to buy. Um, Cause that seemed to be the main, the main idea is that they're, they function, but they're just not super cool or useful enough. The other idea is, um, oh, I didn't lock the door, crap. The other idea being that um, maybe I can give them more function. Right now there's a $2 side and a $1 side, so maybe there's something else I can do to them. Maybe add a keychain, so it's a little easier to keep track of. Well, anyway, I'm out of breath. This has been fun. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. Ooh, well, that's my hair, not blood. <laughs> Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. Ooh, and I'll see you next time. Where's the end button?